And some breaking news out there, folks. Just now, it's been XQC handed his fourth Twitch ban. Yes, more probably coming soon. Probably a video for tomorrow as well. It's Twitch acting very promptly after this past weekend. In case you guys missed our video on this, XQC did stream snipe during a Twitch Rivals Fall Guys event. It was actually Shroud alongside Tyler1 and other figures calling him out for what they called a first in Twitch history as one of their top streamers stream snipe directly on his own live stream, breaking Twitch Rivals rules. Twitch Rivals has now issued their own statement on this following a six month ban for XQC from Rivals events and along with that a temporary account suspension on his main Twitch channel. As they cite, at GlitchCon our player conduct rules were violated. We require all participants to abide by the same rules in order to play in a tournament. As a result, XQC has been issued a temporary Twitch account suspension, a temporary Twitch Rivals ban, and forfeited associated prize money. And later on in their statement guys, I'll leave on screen for a tiny bit of time, they do actually clarify his Twitch Rivals ban to be a length of six months and his temporary Twitch suspension was actually not noted a number of days. I imagine probably a three or a seven day ban for stream sniping live on Twitch and what Shroud has said a first ever in Twitch history. And if you guys missed our video this weekend or just this morning as well, I think this is actually a justifiable punishment for a top Twitch streamer who stream sniped live on air and was caught and seen by everyone doing so. We just weren't sure how Twitch was going to act around this if they would also give him a ban to his actual Twitch channel, which they have chosen to do. And to be honest, with all of you guys, I think it's likely the right call. If that ban is not too long, it's just not probably acceptable, especially in competition, to have one of your top Twitch streamers or any Twitch streamer to technically cheat for an event where prize money was on the line and placements were affected. I'm always curious what you guys think about this. I'll also play for you a short clip in case you missed that video where Shroud actually possibly has in other clips and also posted an own individual video on his channel where he did say it was a first in Twitch history and he wasn't sure how Twitch would react react. Twitch has now reacted. Rivals has now suspended XQC for six whole months from events and along with that a temporary ban marking his fourth on the Twitch platform. In case you guys are somehow still curious as well, we have seen several top creators out there receive multiple bans on the Twitch platform and not receive a permanent ban. I think I'm fairly confident in saying yeah, same goes for XQC. Despite having his fourth ban being issued, he will not be permanently banned from Twitch and will be back sometime shortly. He will not be back to Rivals for quite some time and probably rightfully so as to why he apologized in the first place. Did you see did you see one of the first things to ever happen in Twitch history yesterday? What? Nope. No? Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you not know anything about it? Oh damn. Talk to me. Twitch Rivals? Stream Snipe? What did I see? The... Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw XCC's tweet. Yeah, I heard he saboed you. Was it you? Uh, Lupo? It was it, Lupo? It was, Someone. I, wasn't, I wasn't playing. Oh. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I get... Well, how do you feel about it? I mean, it's one of those things that was definitely done in the moment and definitely regretted after the fact. And the only thing you can really do at that point is just, you know, apologies all around and then just see what happens. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I that's, don't like, that's think... It. I don't think it's a bad... Like, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I think it just sets a bad precedent. precedent. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's and really, I also yeah. think, like, he made the right play by apologizing. People were giving him shit for apologizing, but I was like, dude, like... He's literally like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. He's got to fucking save face a little bit here. Like, cause he did fuck up. Like in the moment, he's probably like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. It's all for fun. And then did it and like, ah, yeah, I kind of seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing everyone's all pissed and shit. I'm kind of yeah. seeing what's wrong here. I'm a streamer doing this. I'm seeing what is wrong here in a tournament. <laughs> so whatever, like live and learn type deal. Yeah. Really it. As per usual, hope you guys all enjoy, all right? Uh, take a sip for me. Stay hydrated, you, you, you nerds. Uh, I'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care. Bye-bye.